Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would just like to introduce myself. I'm Mark. This is my beautiful wife, Lindsay. Obviously, Lisa's parents. Actually, proud parents. You will keep up with that, George. Anyone who knows me is aware that I'm a man of few words. But what words I had today were blown away the moment I saw you. You were absolutely stunning. I had no idea what you was wearing. You kept it all to surprise, and I hated it. <laughs> but what I would say, you are absolutely stunning. I'd like to raise a couple of toasts. First, I would like to raise a toast to Lisa's nan and granddad and my nan, who couldn't make it today. But I know they will be at home wishing that they could have come. I also would like to raise a toast to our loved ones that would have been here today. But I know they are watching down on us and wishing us a great future together. So let's cheers them. Nothing has made me happier than spending the last 13 years with you. You truly are everything I have ever wished for. Lisa, Mum and I are so proud to have you as our daughter. You're beautiful, intelligent, witty and caring. But, when you were at home, or even just visiting, even last night, you could be very annoying watching Love Island, Don't Tell the Bride, or other trivial rubbish. I can even include Nell, Marry Me. Thank you, Stacey. Um, if Mum and I spoke, you would rewind it over and over again. I know we shouldn't have got it, Sky, any time now. If Mum and I spoke, you would see rewind it. I'm repeating myself. There you go. Also, when we eventually got you or Claire to wash and dry up, which didn't happen very often, you always end up in a bubble fight and arguments and trying to stir each other up. So yes, you did win. Mum and I always did it most of the time, just for a quiet life. We would like to officially welcome George into our family, even though you've been part of it for the past 13 years anyway. In that time, you've tried to maim or kill me twice. Accidentally, I do hope, once dropping wood on my head when erecting the shed, and more recently on your stag do. Leave me with cracked ribs and tall muscles and a week off work, so it didn't work out too bad after all. But I'm not allowed to go go-karting ever again. But as an old man, I still beat you. You did ask me not to mention it, but I still beat you. but Lindsay are proud and I are both proud to call you son. I'd also like to say that bridesmaids are absolutely stunning. I'm sure you all agree. Lisa, your nanny and granddad pussycat, even though they have dogs, are sorry that they can't be with you today, but they are thinking of you and send their best wishes and all their love and I'm sure they're having a drink with you on this happy, joyous occasion, and look forward to seeing you both soon. Trisha and Russ, we also like to welcome you to our family. <laughs> You've taken Lisa into your family like one of your own, even cooking separate meals for her. George didn't get that luxury with us. He ate everything we gave him, even roasts on a Sunday. Every single roast, George ate it. You even took Lisa on holidays with you. Lisa, you borrowed my camera. Even taking some risque shots of George. Yes. Which you can all see later on at a small fee. George, you can even iron without burning yourself. Yes, Lisa, you did not delete them soon enough. 
Anyway, I'd like to end now and wish you would join me in raise a toast to George and Lisa Hibbert. Let's run away to far away places. We'll make a new life of our own. Your eyes are new worlds to discover. Your heart is the place I call home. Lisa, I'll give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love and commitment. Of my love and commitment. George, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love and of my love and commitment. So let's run away to far away places. Escape from this life we have known. Your eyes are new worlds to discover. Your heart is the place I call home. Before I start, I want to thank each and every one of you for, spend, uh, for taking the time to spend such a special day with me and my new wife, Mrs. Hibbert. I'd like to raise a couple of toasts. First, I would like to raise a toast to Lisa's nan and granddad and my nan who couldn't make it today, but I know they will be at home wishing that they could have come. Me and Lisa really look forward to showing them our wedding day photos and videos to our grandparents. Cheers. Lindsay and Mark, my mother and father-in-law, thank you for welcoming me into the family so easily. I still remember the first time I met you both, sitting in the lounge with both sofas facing each other. It definitely felt like an interview. <laughs> it looks like I got the job. <laughs> I'm sure you are both so proud of your daughter and who she has become. That all comes down to both of you for raising such a kind and thoughtful person. I, we both are truly thankful for everything you have done to help us today and to help us to arrange today. So thank you. Mum and Dad, without you, there is no me. So cheers to that. You've, wel you've heard this before. You've welcomed Lisa into the family like she is one of your own. We must have Googled the same bit. <laughs> and I couldn't ask for more than that. Parents like you is what any son would ever wish for. I certainly look up to you both and wish one day I could be an amazing parent like you've been to me. You've both always been there for me when I've needed you. Mum for calling the dentist and Dad for fixing the car. So thank you. <laughs> Bridesmaids, Claire, Stacey, Siobhan, and Chrissy. 
you all look so beautiful. And thank you for getting Lisa here on time. Without you, she definitely would have been late. Thank you for trying to settle Lisa's nerves, but I don't think anything could have settled her nerves about walking down that aisle today. But thank you anyway. <laughs> to the bridesmaids. I couldn't choose one or the other, so I had to have you both as my best man. If you didn't know Chris and Tom already, you're a very lucky person. Let me tell you a little bit about them both. One has a nice car, the other is Tom. That's all you need to know. Thank you for being there for me when I've needed you over the last nine years we've known each other. You've both been such amazing best friends and to have you as my best men is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And thank you for not tying me to a dwarf on my stag do. Now we come to my beautiful wife. You look absolutely stunning today, and to call you my wife is an absolute dream come true. Not only are you beautiful on the outside, you are beautiful on the inside. And I can't wait to spend, of my, the, spend the rest of my life with you. I'd like to share with you all the first time we met and how we got to today. I remember Lisa walking into class in year five and me wanting to get to know her straight away. We became uh, girlfriend and boyfriend a few weeks later on a school trip to the Isle of Wight, where Lisa bought me this. Which says, I am not small, sorry, I'm not too small, I'm under tall. Believe it or not, I was shorter than Lisa at the time. Many years had passed where we become great friends and knew everything about each other. Until we went our separate ways in year, five, uh, year eight and gained different friendship groups. It wasn't until year 11 that I'd see Lisa walking into school and down the corridor and thinking, wow, how beautiful she was and how am I ever going to get to know her again? So I added her on Facebook. The <laughs> The conversation started flowing. We then started meeting up, and that summer, and that summer, we really started to connect again, and it felt like we'd never been apart. I finally asked Lita to be my girlfriend, and 13 years later, we are here today, and I can finally call you my wife, which I can say I've been waiting for since the moment I received this key ring. I love you, Lisa Hibber. Okay, serious stuff. So, before we begin, uh, we just have a little message from George's nan, who, as he mentioned, uh, wasn't able to make it today. And, sorry I can't be there today, and I wish you both a wonderful day and life together. Lots of love always, nan. And now on to our speech. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for meeting us today to, marry, to witness this young man marry the love of his life. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the car in the ceremony, so thank you for Lisa for stepping in. In all seriousness, Tom and I would like to thank you all for being here and being a part of George and Lisa's special day. A big thank you to George, of course, for choosing the two of us to be your best men. Clearly some indecision going on there but thankfully although you choose to split the best man role you did settle for just one bride and what a bride she is Lisa he's definitely punching you look incredible so myself and George both met way back all those years at fitness first we were all a lot younger fresh face and had slightly more hair 
<laughs> George, in spite of picking a career in health and fitness, would often get Lisa to deliver KFC and other takeaways to the reception at the end of his shift. It must have been then he decided this one is a keeper. Safe to say he is no longer in the health and fitness industry. Although the name G-Fit still lives strong to this day. <laughs> so, the three of us, George, Tom and I, started spending time together and hit it off straight away. We even started our own Friday night out of hours lifting club, hashtag late night lifts, which to be honest became more about mucking around in an empty gym than actually lifting weights. Our friendship has gone from strength to strength over the years, with meals out, house parties, and how can we forget the many courses we had to attend for Fitness First and the hilarity of the first aid training. Safe to say, Lisa, I can see from how George was kissing those CPR dolls why you said yes. Isn't he gentle? <laughs> and I think I speak for all of us when I say we couldn't be more proud of not only to be here with you both today, but to have witnessed all you've achieved together and how much you've grown together as a couple over the years. George stopped growing many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say a big thank you to the Bennett, the Bennett and Hibbert family for making this such an amazing day for your son and daughter. Thank you to Jamie Lambert for finding a pair of size 11s 15 hours before the wedding. <laughs> and getting up earlier than midday to make it to here on time today. Appreciate that. <laughs> I go for the wellies. Thank you to all the other guys that made it to the stag night. The only person missing was a midget with the handcuffs. George. Lisa. Thank you for such an amazing day, for being such epic friends, for all the many laughs and experiences that we've shared together so far. We all know you have many, many more happy years together now as husband and wife. So let's run away to far away places Escape from this life we have known Your eyes are new worlds to discover Your heart is the place I call home Whoa. still be waiting to lead you through the night so let's run away to far away places escape from this life we have known your eyes are new worlds to discover your heart is the place I call home let's run away Which means, folks, it's now time to join us in raising your glasses or phones to the happy couple. To Mr. and Mrs. Hibbert. <laughs>